Okay, so this week we're going to talk about color. Last week we talked about light and behavior of light. Um, so recall from the visible spectrum that visible light is part of the electromagnetic spectrum. So that is light we see every day. So visible light is the light that is visible to the human eye. That's how we define visible light. Color is how our brain perceives different wavelengths of visible light. So there actually are an infinite amount of colors because each color is based on the wavelength of the light. Human eye can distinguish anywhere from 7 million to 10 million colors. Fun fact, women in general are better at seeing color than men. And some women have an extra cone in their eyes to let them even see more colors than what we would think see. And so on the electromagnetic spectrum, if visual light is from anywhere from 4 nanometers to 700 nanometers. So how do we create different colors of light? Well, as I mentioned previously in the last slide, that different colors are caused by different wavelengths of light. So the wavelength is the biggest thing. A visible light is broken down into the following colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. And I know I said there's an infinite amount of color. That is true, but in physics we define seven basic colors. And that is red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. So red is any we said we said that invisible light was anywhere from seven hundred nanometers to four hundred nanometers. So red is at about that 700 to 635, so this is 700 nanometers. Orange begins at about 635 nanometers. Yellow begins at about 590. Green at about 560. Blue is going to be at about 490. And indigo is going to be, and violet are going to be at about 450 to 400 nanometers. And so, the easiest way to remember this is Roy G. Biv. Now, red has the longest wavelength. We call it on the electro and I expect that red was closer to radio waves and violet was closer to da, 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 x-rays which had the shortest wavelength so red has a lot has a longer wavelength than violet and violet is about 400 nanometers and red is about 700 nanometers so why do we see different colors well, the colors we see are actually caused by light experiencing reflection and absorption. And we talked about this last week about how when something, when light hits an object, it can either reflect or absorb. So reflection happens when, you know, this is my object and it comes in and it bounces back off. And absorption happens when it comes in and it goes in and it doesn't come out. Nothing comes out. So when an object reflects light, it appears the color of light away of the color that it reflects. So for example, blue light causes an object to look blue. So when we see a blue object, the object is taking all the other colors but blue. It reflects blue back to your eyes. So we see a red object because it reflects red light back to, into our eyes and observes all the other colors. And when I said observes all the other colors, this is what I mean. So the white light we see in the light from the sun is, is often white light. So white light contains all the colors. So when you mix all the colors together, you get white. If you don't have any color, you get black. So why do we see white and black objects? White objects occur because the object reflects all the colors of light and goes back into your eyes. They combine to make white. Black occurs when the object takes all the light and absorbs it and none of it goes into your eyes. 
So in terms of physics, white and black are not colors. Remember, color is all about having a specific wavelength that you can attribute to that color. White is a mixture of all colors, and black is the absence of colors. So therefore, white and black are not colors. So there are two types of colors. There are primary colors that combine to make white light. In fact, if you take all the colors of in the world and combine, you'll get white light. But there, there are three primary colors you can use to make white light on on its own. And those colors are red, blue, and green. Secondary colors are caused by the mixing of two primary colors. So a secondary color might be red and blue. And that will give you, for example, magenta. Blue and green, cyan. And then red and green, yellow. So primary colors are red, blue, and green. There are only three of them. And these are the colors that combine to make white light. Secondary colors are the colors by missing two of these primary colors. And, the, and those are, as you'll, you'll see, are magenta, yellow, and cyan. So how do we create different colors? Well, there are two ways. The first one is color addition. So this is, happens when two colors of light are combined or add together to create a new color of light. For example, you might have a red light come in. Then you maybe have a blue light. Let me see if I have blue pen. I do. Let's do actually green. Green would actually be easier to see. Now I have green light coming in. And then these things mix. Well, red and green make, combine to make yellow. So the red light plus the green light gives you yellow. Now, as we were saying, color addition here. We have different colors. So here I have red and green combined here. Venn diagram make yellow. Magenta is made by red and blue. And then cyan is from green and blue. Then when you add all these colors together, you get white. So the next method is called color subtraction. The opposite of addition is subtraction. And color subtraction occurs when one or more color light is observed or removed from the white light by the material. And so pigments are substances on materials that observe different colors of light. So what usually happens here is say I have a white light coming in. And I have this box maybe. And maybe this box, maybe it absorbs green. So let's say that it absorbs green. And so we know that red, this is made of red, green, and blue. So what's going to come out here is, so green gets absorbed. So let me color code this so you can see it better. So you have red coming in. And then you have green coming in. Oops. And then you have, of course, blue. Then this observes green. That means the only thing that's come back out is blue and Red. And so your eyes can't not see red and blue light. If two colors are coming to your eyes, your eyes can't see them as different colors. So what your eyes does, they combine them. And we know that red and blue add up to make 
Red plus blue is magenta. White light is red, green, and blue. We subtracted green and got out red and blue, and we got magenta. And here, here's another example here. In this case, we got red light, which is red, green, and blue. Comes in. And it take, it, this paper takes away blue, and then it, all it's left is red and green. What does red, red plus green give you? Yellow. And we, we can go back to our Venn diagram here. It's that red and green, yellow. 